Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 14th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 807 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Fox Spirit matchmaker Red Moon Pact passes review. Zhang Ziyi has some brief but harsh words for a netizen who posted fake news about her. Huang Xiaoming puts on 20 pounds for a role in a movie. And Tian Jiarui goes through a nightmare experience at the airport. But first, here's what's recently premiered two dramas for today and yesterday. We begin with Burning Flames, the costume fantasy drama starring Ellen Ren and Fair Singh. It premiered on March 13th. According to Baidu, in Burning Flames, Ellen Ren is Wu Geng, a human prince who vows vengeance after his country is destroyed, his family annihilated, and he is reduced to a slave. Along the way, he meets Bai Chai, played by Fair Singh, a kind girl who's a great cook. Other cast members include Ban Bijou, Jiang Xing, Jeremy Xu, and the list goes on. There are also appearances by Taiwanese actors Zhou Chen, Peter Ho, and Ming Dao. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. Then there's Simple Days, starring Chen Xiao and Tong Yao. The modern drama premiered on March 14th. I'd previously referred to it as Little Days. Baidu describes the drama as a story of divorce and reconciliation. Chen Xiao and Tong Yao play a couple who move from their quiet hometown to bustling Shanghai. They eventually face problems like dealing with in-laws and buying a house. Simple Days is laid up for 26 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Before we get out of premiere dates, here's some of what's coming up. Ode to Joy Season 5, the modern drama starring Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang, recently confirmed a March 16th premiere. They had obtained a distribution license for 34 episodes in May last year. For some reason, it took them almost 10 months to pass review. Ode to Joy Season 4 aired its finale in April last year. The girls, which include the two leads, plus Chang Chianing, Chang Huiwen, and Ariel Lee, will reprise their roles in this fifth installment, which follows their characters as they tackle challenges in their work, family, and love lives. Co-stars Sean Do and Wang Anyu also return. Ode to Joy Season 5 is slated for 34 episodes and will stream on Tencent. The Legend of Shen Li with Zhao Liying and Lin Kenxing is confirmed for March 18th. We've spoken about this. They recently shared this poster to announce that they had broken 7 million reservations on Tencent. Additionally, In Blossom with Zhu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi is rumored for March 20th. I've also read elsewhere it could premiere as early as March 15th, which is tomorrow. The drama released their first trailer earlier today. More about this drama in my next episode. And lastly, War of Faith with Wang Yibo, Li Qing, and Wang Yang is rumored for March 22nd. I'll update again when something official is announced. That's it for premiere dates. Moving on, here's what's recently passed review. Red Moon Pact, the first chapter in the Fox Spirit Matchmaker franchise, passed review and obtained an online record number yesterday. The fantasy costume drama stars Yang Mi and Simon Gong. One of their latest posts on Weibo is that they have broken 4 million reservations on iQiyi. The drama had begun filming in July and wrapped in November 2022, so it's taken a while, about 16 months to pass review. Yang Mi's last drama to air was 2022's She and Her Perfect Husband. In Red Packed Moon, she stars as Tu Shan Hong Hong, a fox spirit. Simon Kong's last drama to air was last year's Rising with the Wind. In Red Packed Moon, he stars as Dong Fang Yechu, a human who has affection for Tu Shan Hong Hong. Other than Yang Mi and Simon Kong, the cast also includes Guo Xiaoting, Miles Wei, Hu Lianxing, Ban Bijou, Sabrina Chen, Chen Du Ling, and a guest appearance by Zhang Linghe. More updates on the drama as they provide them. Also passing review recently was The Tale of Rose starring Crystal Liu. They will be getting their distribution license imminently. I will update again when that happens. 
And that's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Chang Zhiyi, who recently had some brief but harsh words for a netizen who posted fake news about her. The last big update I did about Zhang Ziyi was when she and her then-husband Wang Feng announced their divorce. This was in October last year. Since then, the 45-year-old actress has worked on director Peter Chan's upcoming thriller movie, The Murderer. In a leaked video, she is seen on stage with co-star Lei Jiaying at the movie's rap dinner party. She gets very emotional as she thanks Peter Chan. Quote, There were many, many changes in the journey. Thank you for being there. Thank you for persisting on this project. Thank you for recognizing me all along as the only choice. Thank you for giving me the chance to be reborn. I believe for me, this is a new starting point." Unquote. The leaked video led to the topic, Zhang Ziyi cries as she thanks Peter Chan to trend. Piggybacking on the hashtag, a netizen decided to post this. Quote, I heard that Zhang Ziyi had asked Peter Chan to invite Yang Mi to act in this movie. Zhao Liying is close to Zhang Ziyi, so it's normal that she gets a role. Because Zhang Ziyi's movies haven't been doing as well as before at the box office, so she hopes this movie will be popular enough that she can reach another high in her career. After her divorce, she wants to relaunch her career. On her own, it's difficult, but with Yang Mi and Zhao Liying in the cast, the movie's popularity will be not bad. The biggest winner is actually Zhang Ziyi. This is called knowing how to reap benefits. Zhang Ziyi is very smart." Unquote. This netizen's post invoked a response from Zhang Ziyi, who shortly after lashed out in the comment section in Chinese, no such thing, and then in English, shut up, idiot. Afterwards, the netizen wrote a couple of posts to clarify and apologize. They said that what they wrote was just gossip, and that they'd seen all of Zhang Ziyi's movies, and that their favorite character of hers was Gong Er in The Grand Master. They wrote, what I said earlier was biased. I apologize to Zhang Ziyi and accept her scolding. Everyone, please support her movie. Oddly enough, this person added a postscript that seemingly took another shot at someone else, Yang Mi's fans. It read, Yang Mi fans, please don't look for a sense of existence. Leave the main role for international film star Zhang Ziyi. Here are some images of Zhang Ziyi in The Murderer, in which she plays a woman who is accused of butchering her abusive husband. It is based on a true story that happened in 1940s Shanghai. Next up for celebrity updates, Huang Xiaoming was recently photographed to have put on some weight for a new movie. On March 13th, a gossip blogger shared some footage of Huang Xiaoming filming in a desert. In it, the 46-year-old actor is wearing a suit and carrying a school bag. What catches the eye, according to netizens, is his pudgy belly. Subsequently, the hashtag Huang Xiaoming's belly became a topic of discussion. Netizens commented that he was quote-unquote open-minded to be willing to put on weight for a role, but feared that he might not be able to lose it later. Wang Xiaoming did an interview prior to these images coming out, and in it, he revealed that he had gained about 20 pounds for a role. Quote, it's not obvious on my face, but my belly has actually grown, unquote. As for what role it is, he replied, can't say, sorry. All I can say is that I have to put on weight. On a separate note, I remember doing an update on the Alliance star last May when he shared this post. Apparently, he got hungry while waiting for his flight at the airport and polished off four cups of noodles and was working on his fifth. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Tian Jiarui went through a nightmare experience at the airport recently. Tian Jiarui burst onto the drama scene last year with a supporting role on My Journey to You. He can be seen in the upcoming costume drama Fangs of Fortune. On March 8th, the 25-year-old actor arrived at the airport in Hangzhou at 1 a.m. According to reports, he had just finished a long day of work, and as soon as he got off the flight, was surrounded by photographers. 
He had no assistant or manager with him, only had a couple of security staff from the airport, and his company had not arranged for a car to pick him up. In the end, he had to get his own ride to go home. What made the experience even worse was that there were a couple of photographers there who seemed to be getting a kick out of taunting him. If you don't know where you're going, just stay put. Don't make everyone follow you around, they said to his face. Oh look, he's got to handle his bags himself. Must be tough. When Tian Xiaorui took out his phone to film what was going on, they continued. Look, he's filming himself now. He wants us to give him a break. Following the incident, Tian Xiaorui's fan club said they had communicated with his studio and posted the response they got. They wrote, among other things, that there was a mistake at the airport and relevant staff members have been punished. They also wrote that male staff for security are being recruited all the time, but they were still undergoing screening and assessment, and that everyone's suggestions have been received and adjustments will be made in the future. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Everyone Loves Me starring Ling Yi and Zhou Ye. And the top TV drama was Always on the Move starring Bai Jingting and Ding Yong Dai. I'm gonna back Everyone Loves Me to remain champion this week. I think Burning Flames with Ellen Run and Ferris Singh will make a big splash, but probably won't have enough days to take top spot. As for TV dramas, I'm gonna back Angels Fall sometimes with Landy Lee and Ling Yi to be the new champion. So that's Everyone Loves Me and Angels Fall sometimes to be champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.